What is going on? Welcome and thank you for stopping by the video today, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon. Super excited to be in the midst of sneak peek update season. So hey, if you don't want to miss out on this cool stuff, please do take a moment, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and you will get the earliest and most accurate update information, including the super troops and introducing for the very first time well you might have guessed this one the super barbarian all right so that'll be the first troop that we are revealing and okay there's a lot to talk about here notice the barbarian apparently the hair is the power 50,000 dark elixir and all of these numbers we'll go over some of them all of these numbers may change remember that this is the developer build and subject to alteration at any time but for 50,000 Dark Elixir, you can try it for seven days, or you can try this special little miniature Town Hall 12 test attack, and we are going to try it right now. Um, okay, so let's see. Mass, barbs, and okay. It looks like we need to worry mostly about this eagle and about splash, because you'll notice the Inferno Towers are set to single. So if we can get this eagle out of the way, maybe not the best jump spell in the world, and then... Okay, the wizard towers and the mortars at the bottom are going to be an issue as well. Obviously, these guys are pretty tanky. They are definitely stronger, more powerful than your regular barbarian, but you still need to watch out for splash. The heal spells, okay, probably going to be pretty useful, but again, will we see a lot of mass barbarian raids? Maybe not, and we'll try it in just a second, just in case. Easily taking down the level one heroes, and you'll notice so far, they seem a lot like builder base barbarians in that they come with that brief rage at the beginning of their deployment only. So we'll see if that is something that's going to play out through the other super troops, or if we see truly unique abilities, that is what I'm hoping for, as all of the super troops are revealed. Now, in the meantime, as we watch the barbarians work on this village, please forgive me if you know about this, but it's these update videos where I feel like I might reach a few extra people who don't know about using code Galadon, who don't know that they can go to settings, more settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, type in Galadon, and it doesn't cost you anything. Supercell sends me about 5% of what you spend on gems, packages, and the gold pass, and then I take it and turn around and send 10% directly to charity, 10% back to you guys, the viewers, and the means of giveaways. Over 100 gold passes going out every month. So thank you guys that are using code Galadon, and you do have to remember to use it every seven days because it disappears. All right, here we go. Is it a 99% one star? What do you think? You make the call right here, 99 or 100 as the barbs go down. There are more behind them. They run in, they're through the wall. Check this out. This is unbelievable, and I swear to you, this was the first time I tried this attack. Right here, it is one barbarian left. One Barbarian left, and Galadon pulls out the three-star using these guys. So that was my first experience with Super Barbs, and, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, honestly, if you want my honest opinion about Super Barbarians, you know, I don't, I don't see that they are that spectacular yet, but you know what? I'm an amateur sometimes, I'm a noob, and maybe you guys are already thinking, oh man, I know exactly where to use these Super Barbs, and of course, we're going to try three different attacks right now using them and kind of show off their abilities or their weaknesses. First of all, starting out with the OP troop test, all right? And that is, let's just bring mass super barbarians, attack a maxed out or nearly maxed out Town Hall 13 village with the key here and empty clan castle. So it is an empty clan castle, but it is a fully upgraded Town Hall 13 otherwise. And we're just going mass super barb. So the idea here is spam get a little bit of funneling going so that they will at least head in towards the core. We need to get them after the town hall and say the eagle. We'll see what happens as we try to funnel with the heroes, the siege barracks and the king at the top, the queen at the bottom. And then once we have a rough funnel developed, then we'll just spam them all in. You'll notice they do a great job of picking off individual defenses that might be left towards the outside. They help out a little bit with the funneling and it leaves me about 47 of them to dump in right above this jump spell. So there's your jump, here they come, and I'll send in the Warden and the Royal Champion together. Everybody rolls in, gonna get ready with the Warden ability, obviously, because they're gonna get through that quickly. There it is, Warden ability, get the second jump spell down, and now just trying to predict the pathing with the Rage spells. Gonna throw the Freeze on the Eagle right there, even though it does get another round off, that is gonna be bad right there. 
here come the barbs and uh okay there's the second star for damage we've got the yetis in from the siege barracks the royal champion uses her ability and she's off by herself so that's not really useful and as you can see it looks like a big group of them went around on the outside here unfortunately and notice how easy it is to distinguish the super barbarian from the barbarian that came from the king's ability notice that also his barbarians are not supered they are going to be regular barbarians even if you've used super barbarians and have them upgraded or whatever you want to call it so we're just going to finish out this attack we'll be in the 70s somewhere with a two star which to be honest feels pretty strong a little bit high but also it would have been brought down significantly by a good clan castle especially anything that would have dealt with those barbs got to deal with that clan castle so not really a great representation but at least it is a good first look at the barbs going up against what would be a maxed out town hall 13 army so as this attack wraps up that is going to be about a 70 yes a 76 percent two star and next up is queen walk super barb okay so similar except for this time we're going to use the five healers and just a balloon so really still massive super barbarians and they're going to help out a little bit with the funnel on the opposite side of the base so where we tried just heroes funneling before the idea is here that the archer queen is going to get more value and uh, although i am terrible at funneling here and really never have much of an idea of where she's going to go she is going to help out and in this case she would have likely cleared out the clan castle also easily dealing with the barbarian king she's going to get in here and luckily because i brought the free spell yeah okay so this is not you know ideal like i said this is just an amateur trying a pro style attack and we do eventually get the inferno tower down before the healers die now we have to start to think about the same approach because the archer queen has gone clockwise and i'm just kind of hoping that she lives longer so king siege barracks at nine o'clock and obviously now you can see the funnel is complete the king and the siege barracks will deal with at least the royal champion and then finally jump spell in just about the same spot and 33 or so enraged barbarians the super barbarians and again that ability only for a few seconds so maybe the rage spell shouldn't go that soon wait until they've kind of exhausted that initial charge and then drop the rage spells more deeply in the base archer queen she fails over there on the right hand side and we end up getting left with about the same outcome as we had before the barbarians however successfully get into the core again we've got a big group that kind of wandered around the outside so it doesn't look that much different than the first attack somebody that could get better value out of their queen walk could obviously do much better in this case i'm okay with this and you'll see again the yetis coming out of the siege barracks are going to work their way in behind and take out that multi-target inferno and you end up with Pretty similar to what we saw before some barbarians that are no longer raged but they still put out pretty serious dps and we will take a look at them side by side with regular barbarians in just a moment so we can get an idea of just how much value you're getting for five times the housing space so a few extra percentage points on this raid as opposed to the last because we went with a little bit of strategy instead of just pure spam obviously there's going to be players that can get even better value out of this but let's go finally with a queen walk hybrid using the super barbarians to just kind of assist with the funneling and here we can take a look at them side by side remember that the numbers are subject to change they may not stay the same but for now we can see that obviously the super barbarians are very high in hit points compared to a regular barbarian also you might be comparing them to say a wizard because of that damage output they are much tankier than a wizard 1100 hit points in the developer build right now as opposed to about what 230 for a max level wizard so somewhere between a hog rider and a valkyrie just a little bit more hit points right now than a max level miner just to give you an idea of how strong they are as far as what they can hold up to and of course they should benefit well from heal spells when you've got several of them in there in a group so this time we just kind of funneled with them a little bit we sent in a standard attack going at the town hall with the hog riders and the miners they get the town hall down easily and uh, i'll give you a sneak peek this is actually going to be a, a rare gala three star so this is honestly though my favorite attack strategy right now in legend league for town hall 13 is the hybrid using the miners and the hog riders and when the funnel works then it's usually going to work out pretty well 
and of course the queen staying alive the barbarians helped out and i feel like they are much more valuable on the front end of an attack overall as far as dps versus troop space a wizard is going to be better at the end of an attack for cleanup but at the beginning they are awesome for getting in there and taking out sniping individual buildings as you try to complete your funnel so I do like the super barb. Is it game changing? No, but then again, we've got more super troops coming in the immediate future and you got to watch out for those. It is going to be exciting. It's going to be interesting and some are going to be better than others. I anticipate that one of these is going to emerge as a very, very useful troop. I can't tell you which one yet, but I have my feelings that one of these people are going to absolutely love. So there is your first look at the Super Barbarian, and be sure to stay tuned, stay subscribed, stay notified, because I've got the earliest and most accurate update information, Galafam, so now get out there, stay in there, be kind to people, planets, and the animals. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. And I'm serious. Keep your distance. Skeleton, not a problem, keep my distance from you. You smell funny anyway.